So I actually started as a, an undergraduate here at the Department of Real Estate and Planning back in 2008. Um, and then after that, I did a, a master's at, um, at Cambridge in, in Land Economy. Um, and then I came back to Reading to do my PhD in uh, 2013, I think it was, um, which was a wonderful three years um, here as a PhD student. And that, and that was funded by the Reading Real Estate Foundation, which I was, I was very grateful for. Um, and then after that, I, I did... I, I, had a brief stint here as a teaching fellow um, in real estate development and then I, I took up a, job, a position with the um, University of Glasgow based in um, in London actually um, as as a knowledge exchange associate with the UK Collaborative Centre for Housing Evidence so ho housing is really what most of my research um, revolves around and that was a, and I did that for five years and then I came back here as a, as a lecturer in, in housing economics and I just joined um, almost a year ago and now So my PhD research was all about um, housing and subjective well-being and looking at that relationship quantitatively using kind of big panel data sets that follow um, you know, tens of thousands of people over a period of time and tracking various different outcomes in their lives, um, including their well-being and including um, their housing situation. And I was particularly interested in, um, in, in how that relationship between housing and subjective well-being is, is mediated by, by social status and, and, and adaptation, um, that is, um, when are individuals happy in, in a big house because um, because of the social status that that brings um, and also does that happiness sustain over time or does it diminish over time as we would expect in, in adaptation so those that was kind of what my PhD focused on and looked at um, and I recently published a, an article um, exploring kind of one of the papers in that in that PhD looking at the effect of, of, of house size on well-being and in particular um, the rule of tiny homes um, so that's the, the really first element of my research, which I was, which was the focus of my PhD, and which I've continued to build upon. But since then, I've, I've developed other interests as well. So one of the one of the interests which I've kind of published a couple of papers on recently is around um, around how um, housing policy is made and the role of of, of ideas and and, in, and various economic interests in driving housing policy and and, and, and planning policy. Um, and and then more most recently, I'm. I'm Kind of currently, I'm I'm really interested in looking at um, discrimination in the private rental sector, particularly in terms of race and and, um, and class, um, and also looking at, at at the house building industry, at the UK house building industry, um, and how it's developed and in, and its relationship with the state um, since the global financial crisis, um, in particular. So I, I'm a relatively young um, early career researcher still, um, although. And not 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 as young as what I what I was five years ago, but um, but it's 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 been really nice coming back to the department because it's it's full of extra, kind of lots of young um researchers who are all um kind of passionate about particular topics um and often quite different and diverse topics, but also topics of interest which overlap with my own. Um, so that's I think that's the a, a really good point to part about the department by at, at this particular moment in time. One of the things that I, I like about Henley is, is is the close connections to to industry. So in my own research, I'm I'm I'm, t I'm quite interested, as I said, in the house building industry, but also how you know the, the emergence of the build to rent sector. Um, and I think in order to get a really good understanding of what's happening now in in those industries, um, it's 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 really good to be able to have that contact with those various um, professionals and to be also to work with other staff in the department who are working on those on those kind of issues and topics. Um, so that's one thing I really like about. Being here in Henley. 